to, kids should be taught to just doodle and create whatever comes into their mind, really. You should take the mind off it, actually. <laughs> whatever yes. comes through them and onto the paper yes. <laughs> or canvas. Absolutely. One thing I was going to say about creation, when people create, when to start in arts, doodling or uh, painting, is that you have to learn and that's how it can becomes a meditation more than just a creation. Mm -hmm. You have to take away the head from what you're doing. A recipe for meditative drawing would be take a paper, take a pen or a pencil if you want, and don't think. Mm -hmm. Put put a movie on and just start doodling. Whatever forms come out, just fill up the paper with whatever forms. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be anything specific. It doesn't have to have a, anything that you would recognize outside. Just let go of a thought. As soon as you start thinking and trying to premeditate what you are going to be doing, it's not flowing as much through you. So whatever you are trying to become this flow. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but the flow doesn't flow if the head is in the way. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you want it, pull something out of the ether and bring it onto the paper. You have to bypass the head. <laughs> yes. The head is where, where all the thinking happens and that's what yeah. disables us often. Uh, yeah, it has to go through the heart and out. That's right. So what do you believe about yourself? That's a big question. <laughs> I know, it is a big question. <laughs> there are many things I believe about myself. I believe that I am a good person. I believe that I came here for purpose. I believe I'm trying my best to, to fulfill that purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, but I might not even know what the purpose uh, is. Yes, I believe I'm here for purpose, but it may be the purpose is somewhere beyond me that will be hopefully and perhaps brought to somebody else, somewhere else, some time else by my painting and what about the paintings and what I leave behind. Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe I'm, I have a purpose here to spread love and pass it on. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So what's next? What's next? Yeah, so you've done so much, I want to say, and being able to create such a beautiful environment and space in what you do, be it through the dance, be it the artistry, the fashion line that you have, the healing through art, the music, the singing, the lyrics. What's next for you? <laughs> <I'm not sure>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we, we want to definitely, Richie and I want to record our song. Okay. If not for the world, but just for the two of us, because they need to be recorded. They're so beautiful. There's so much love and there's such a great message in them that it would be a shame if it would be not recorded. So we have to do that. Immediately next, whatever I will grab, I will paint. Okay. <laughs> the other day I found uh, an old Boogaboo stroller beside a garbage. Yes. Um, and I thought, Boogaboo stroller, that's a really good stroller. Somebody just probably forgot it there. When I came back about two hours later from shopping, it was still there. So I thought, oh, that's too good to pass. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I took it home, I fixed it up, and I painted the roof. You can see it on my Facebook. So I painted the roof of the Booga, gave it to my son and daughter-in-law for their son. Oh. We already have a stroller, but, you know, this one is nicer. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> so, you know, to me, a thing like that, sitting beside the garbage, it's like crying. It has a soul already that somebody put in it, in a way, so mm -hmm. to speak. Mm -hmm. When the baby was going in the stroller and it was used in Toy Story, yes. you know, the toys have have their life. I, it feels yes. to me, it's a shame that this useful thing was used by somebody in a loving way and held the baby and now it's thrown out. Right. And the same thing with chairs, paint, whatever looks nice and needs to be given an extra boost and a new soul. Yeah. <laughs> so it can be and used the, again. 
another purpose. I had actually a, a kind of a fun idea to have a reality show where people throw out things in front of their houses all the time, like yeah. cha old chairs, old tables and stuff. It would be fun to take that chair or table, take it home, paint it up, and then bring it to them and ring the bell. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yes. And, uh, you know, and, just to see their reaction. <laughs> and to see their reaction and see if they, if they if it, still want to throw it. That's <laughs> right. If it goes back in the house or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> that's a good idea. I, know. I have never done that. <laughs> it takes a little longer than overnight to I would imagine. It, so. <laughs> I would imagine, yes. I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. So this is a beautiful share. I really want to say... A heartfelt thank you for you sharing so deeply and so profoundly your journey and your wisdom, your love through this call and something that drives you and is your, I guess, your mission to, thank you. to heal so much and so many that, that are seeking it. So thank you so much for yeah. sharing. <laughs> thank you very much for having me and spread the message of love. Absolutely. I'm honored to be able to do that. So thank you again so much for that. Thank you, Naranjan.